Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Naturally Hey, where I talk about all things beauty, fashion, model life, all that. And so in today's video, I'll be showing you a haul how I make my comp cards like this one. And so, yeah, this is a highly requested video. I know like some people have commented before, like I should show how I make my comp cards. And so what I kind of wanted to do is just start off and give you a little back history of like the main purpose of comp cards. As a model, I feel like it's very important that you have a comp card. And the comp card is just used to like for agencies just to get a quick snapshot of who you are and your most natural state. And then you can show them a little bit of your work. And I know that a lot of agencies are moving to online submissions, but I feel like a comp card is still good to submit just so they can see kind of like how you look when you go to agencies in person when you go to open calls and yeah definitely open calls for sure and so it's just a little card that gives like a brief information about yourself it gives information about like your height your weight your stats um your measurement and i also put my contact information on mine because i'm not a sign model yet and so I know like a lot of sign models have their agencies make their own comp cards, but for the people who don't have agencies like myself, I just wanted to show you all how I make my comp cards because it's really simple. Like I believe that you don't have to pay someone to do your comp cards. I actually paid someone to do my comp cards and I realized like it was a total waste of money because I actually made my comp car way better than they did and so yeah long story but yeah lessons learned so I was like okay let me research this and figure out how to make this easy and simple myself so um, starting out you can see that I use Canva and I'm gonna go through the whole process with you all so first off, we're going to be using Canva and the comp card needs to be 5x7, but they don't have a 5x7 card. So we're going to go with this 5x5, 8.5 flyer. And so first things first, you want to make sure you find like a good picture of yourself, whether it's just like the main one that you want to use. And you can see I have tons of photos, so I'm trying to go through and make sure I pick the right one. That I want to use now that I found the picture that I want to use I'm just going to shape it out to you know make it look nice make the measurements line up and everything and make sure it takes up majority of the space on the card initially all right so now that we added the main photo now it's time for the text and so I'm just going to add my name but you want to make sure that you have a good font to where it's very legible and it's very clear, so I'm going to figure out which one works best. So I found a font that I like, and I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like it's a good, nice font. And so right now, I'm gonna add the subheading where I'm gonna put like my phone number, my email address, and my Instagram. I mainly put all this information because um, I'm not a sign model and just so they can have a way to easy see how I look or get in contact with me. So that's why I feel like it's key to put this information on here. And I also want to make sure that everything is cohesive so that the fonts are aligned with each other and, you know, it looks nice. So now that we got that all taken care of, we can really just move on to the back page. So you can see at the top, I literally just made a copy of the first one just so I can like keep the sizing, and keep everything the same. And so now I'm just going to go through and find some photos and figure out the ones that I want to put on the back. So when it comes down to picking the photos for your comp card, I would just say to make sure your pictures are the same size and make sure they all align with each other. So another thing is when it comes down to picking the photos you want to actually use for your comp card, kind of make sure they're a little different. They all have their own style. They're not the same pose. You know, they have different backgrounds just to kind of like show your work, your diverse work as a model. 
And so one other thing I like about using Canva is that they have the lines that help you uh, when it comes down to aligning things perfectly and with the width and the height and all that. So I do really enjoy having that when it comes down to Canva. And I'm also using the free version of Canva so you don't have to pay for this version neither. And so now that we have the pictures down, we really just need to go ahead and fill out the stats information. So the main things that's important to include is your height. I don't really necessarily think your weight is, should be included, so I don't add my weight. You add your measurements, your bust, your waist, and them hips, girl. So, um, and make sure this information is accurate. Like, make sure you have your your stats up to date and not any like old stats because you know your sizes could have changed and then also add the color of your eyes the color of your hair your shoe size and your dress size that kind of gives the people an idea of what size you wear and what you look like and so yeah this is basically how i make the comp card afterwards i'll download it you can do in many different file types as you want the PNG version is easier to me. It downloads straight to my computer. The quality is nice and clear. And so let's see how the final comp card came out. So this is how it looks. This one is the front version and you can see it's very clear and that is the back. And so usually when you start printing them, make sure you do like a front and back five by seven card. Okay, so you can see that Literally how I made my comp cards was nice, simple, and easy. After I download the files from there, I will just go, it kind of just depends on your printing preferences. Like I think I did like Staples or Office Depot, kind of just upload it online, do a five by seven, and you can do same day pickup, same day printing. And the cost varies depending on the amount that you want. But that depends on who you decide to go with for printing your comp cards. Mainly this comp card is kind of really just used for people that want to work with me, agencies, potential agencies, um, different photographers who I want to network with and everything like that. But when I'm on the go, like let's say I'm like in the city or something and I'm just walking around, people are like, okay, um, I would love to shoot with you, blah, blah. I have business cards just like this I don't really know who really uses business cards like that but I was like you know it can't hurt to have business cards so as you can see here it's just the same picture from my comp card and it says model under that I have my website in which I have an online portfolio I have my Instagram I have my YouTube I have my number and my email and yeah very simple and very straight to the point and so yeah, with these comp cards, I feel like as a model, you definitely have to have them. Like, they are key. I believe in not paying for them because it's, you can really make it very simple. So, if you can do this yourself and just pay to have them printed, that would be a great thing because that's exactly what I did. And um, when you do get signed to an agency, you won't have to worry about that because they'll take the photos for you. They'll, make the, they'll take the photos, they'll make the card, they'll do all of that. So I hope this video was helpful. I know it was very quick, very short, very straight to the point. So thank you all again and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed already. And yeah, comment below if you have any comments, suggestions, whatever. See you all in my next video. Bye.